All right, guys, we got to start here. It's zero zero early. Nice inside out attack to the left hip of Javier Colego. One zero start for the Germans. This is the gold medal match for the European Open men's finals. So there will be two out of three games. Another inside out attack. Javier's gotta be prepared for that ball. Coming to his left hip. Wow. Really great execution there from the Germans. Bastion. That's a good shot. A little low, but really deceptive. He, he attacked it out of the air on the volley and, and put it right up into the side of Felix's head. That ball cold wide and a side out. Zero three one to start this first game of the finals. The Germans taking down Ernesto Cardenas and Carlos Perez, 15-11 in the semifinals. Velasquez and Gallego taking down Jarjim and Dario, 15-11 as well to get here. Really crisp backhand volley down at the feet of Bastion. Velasquez really on target with that shot. And the Spaniards on their home courts looking really crisp and sharp here early. Javier Gallego, the right-handed player for the Spaniards, dealing with some cramps in the semifinals. Oh, we have an issue where he was talking to player communication. Oh, they're going to do it over. Okay. All right, 3-3-1. Three, three, they're going to redo that. Not sure what happened there. An unforced error on the dink. Three, three, two. A nice job. Another backhand volley down at the feet of Bastion Grau. That serve missing. Yeah. 
So he did not say the score yet, so it's not a fault. If he had said the score and served early during the score, that would have been a fault, but they just redid it. Nice exchange there. Felix telling his partner Bastion, push out with that backhand. Nice movement with those dinks, pushing the Spaniards around a little bit on the court, moving them inside and out. Four, four, one. Velasquez leaning out there a little far, taking that ball low out of the air is a difficult shot for anyone. I like the lob. He flicked it up quickly. Again, two flicks. One was a lob, one was just a, a simple roll, but catching Bastion Grau off guard. He was not ready for that forehand. Great ball movement, both sides. Bastion, Grau on point with that forehand, down the middle for a winner. And a side out with an opportunity to score some points here. It's four, five, one. Nice leave there from Felix. Felix playing on the left side for Team Germany. Bastian Grau playing the right side. They stack with Felix on the left. That's a rare missed third shot, but they still have a second chance, so no harm, no foul there. 5-5-2. Felix really trying to unload on that overhead, and he just got a little too excited, hooking that ball out wide. All right, another hold and a side out at 5-5. Five five. This is game one. It's the best two out of three series. Nice, nice penetrating dinks. Side to side depth, really making the, the Germans work hard right there on those dinks. Velasquez, the left-handed player for the Spaniards, really doing a great job leaning in and getting some good angles off those volley dinks.
That's too good. Felix taking that forehand roll. Just a nasty shot to the right foot and backhand of Velasquez. 6-5-2. Ball skipping just a little bit on Javier Gallego. If you're wondering, local time is 10.51 p.m. A rare miss on the backhand dink from Felix. So far the Spaniards with a slight advantage in the score. Great defense from the Spaniards, but Javi not able to recover fully, and he's still having some issues with that right leg, as you saw after it looked like it seized up on him just a bit. We're going to keep an eye on that as this game unfolds. Six six two. A ball dropping out of the sky. It looked attackable when it was coming over, but... At point of contact, that ball just dropped below the net. That's a f that doesn't matter anyway. It didn't matter, but on the Ernie, Felix hit the net, but I guess the ref may not have seen it, but it didn't matter anyway. They responded on that. And the Spaniards got the point either way. That attack from below the net has got to be deceptive. He's feeding right into the backhand of the Germans. Nice defense from the Germans to recover. That was an excellent around the post. He timed it well. He took his absolute perfect timing and executed that around the post with the forehand because he's a lefty. That makes sense that that shot would be an easier shot for him to curl it around. And we've got a timeout from the Germans. We'll be back in 60 seconds from now to see the end of game one. Right, guys, we're coming back to the action after that timeout. A slight advantage for the Spaniards, Javier and Ernesto up 8 7. This is game one. Good leave there. He saw the attack high, dodging it just a little bit.
Seven eight one for the Germans serving now. Seven eight two. All right, seven eight two. Confirmed by the ref that that ball was wide. Oh, he, he got it. That's the third time. The first two, he did not get back. The third one, he was successful. Bastion was like, wait, hold on. Did that ball just go in? Unbelievable behind the back and so humble. He didn't even act like that was a big deal, but that was an absolutely brilliant shot from Gallego. Kind of had the reset there. I don't think attacking that one's the smart choice, but he was on his back foot doing what he could to try to recover, but some nice points being played out here on this men's finals. Still tightly contested at 8-7. Good footwork from the Spaniard. And a missed dink from Felix he's looking a little frustrated visibly frustrated but he's got to work through these errors I thought Javier was going back cross court. He did not, and he pulled it wide. What an exchange from all four. Excellent ball movement from both sides. Now they've switched positions. Now Ernesto's forehand is down the line, so he should be ready for that attack from Bastion on the inside out forehand from the German, but he was not that time. That's too good from the Germans. And an explanation point at the end on that forehand finish from Felix as they're starting to heat up. Javi leaning out, wanting to attack that ball. It just wasn't there. Ten nine, game point in game one. That third shot from Bastion Growl hanging up just a tad, and you can't leave a ball up on a badminton professional. He's gonna cram that ball down your throat. He, he, he went for it. I like the attack. He surprised him, or thought he was going to surprise him, but Bastion sitting on that forehand. The Germans find a way to get game one in the books. A good comeback because they were down, but the, not by a, but a slim margin, and they found a way at the end to finish it off. So game one goes to Felix and Bastion. We'll be right, right back after this for game number two.
All right, everybody, we're coming back for game number two. The Germans starting things off with the serve. Ernesto's cleaning the floor a little. Maybe he slipped trying to lean out and attack that ball. And a strong start for the German team as they're up 2-0 out of the gate. Yeah, that's a great setup right there. Bastian really didn't have much of a choice. He kind of had to go back down the line. And when he lifted, as soon as he dropped his head and lifted, Javi was all over that Ernie. I like the attack, but Felix able to avoid the ball hitting the paddle. One, two, two. That ball lifting up on the midcourt reset from Javier Gallego, but he did prepare for that smash. Just couldn't get a solid hit on it. The Germans very disciplined in their attacks. They got lucky, Bastion making a sigh of relief as he thought that ball was going to get smoked at him. All right, three, one, two. No, three, one, one, I believe. Nice. Attack through the middle from Velasquez. Three, one, two. Ba 
Sebastian actually attacking that one for the first time in a while. I haven't seen him attack from the forehand cross court. The counter got up into the high body of Felix. All right, two, three, one. So good from Felix to recover out of that. And another Ernie as Bastion goes down the line. Again, that's two Ernies in one point right there. Unbelievable. Anticipation from Gallego as he's still struggling with it with that right leg, but didn't seem to bother him on that Ernie. It's two times in one point. Amazing. The first one defended by Bastion, the second one unable to defend. And he's going for the drive on the third. It, they haven't done that a whole lot, so not a bad idea. 3 3 2. That ball just did not get out wide enough. I think Ernesto was hoping it would have a little pace on it and get out wider, but it did not. Good discipline from the Spaniards to let that ball through the middle go out long. And a second hold opportunity for the Spaniards as it's 3-3-2. Yeah, that ball just obliterated right there from Felix. Uh, it's really close at the baseline, but dipped just inside for another point, 5-3-2. Felix Grunert seems to always know when to stay disciplined and when to attack. Six three two. They can't let this get away too far. They're already down a game. Three six one. Three six two. And two shots falling short on the Spaniards offensive opportunity. Gone to waste. They've got to keep this cl game close here with the Germans now serving up 6-3. Felix able to crank down on that ball right at the feet of Velasquez. They've got to get a stop here at 7-3. Things are slipping away. That ball sailing wide. I like the attack from Velasquez there, creating his own 
opportunity for a stop, and they've got to get one more. It's 7-3-2. The Germans up one game already. That's just not a great idea to attack Felix. He is always ready. He was just sitting on that short backhand punch. Volley. Gallego not able to get the next response. Eight three two. Yeah, really good job there from the Germans. And it's now 9-3-2. They're in the driver's seat as Felix Grunert looking to close this game out serving. That's another good shot from Bastian. Leaning in with that backhand and just flicking the ball past Velasquez. Really gr good anticipation on that lean in. And now they find themselves in the driver's seat up a game and match point. And there it is. A missed return on the backhand from Velasquez. It seems as though they were out of steam. The cramping has begun. And we are going to see some... Hugs and exchange of respect between the Spaniards and the Germans as they finish out the finals on the Spaniards' home court. Nothing but respect between all four. You got to love it. Such great admiration for one another as the Germans embrace and come to the sideline. Nothing but smiles. Javier Gallegos cramping up still. Velasquez with a sigh of disappointment, but also probably feeling really good about their day that they had today. He's one of the organizers for the tournament. But at the end of the day, the Germans just a little too much. A lot of exchanges, but in the end, the unforced errors from the Spaniards did them in. The Germans just so hard to beat. They don't make a lot of unforced errors. They attack when they should attack. They dink when they should dink. And they make sure that they cover their bases. They work well as a team. They are the number one rated men's doubles team in Europe. And they proved it once again here at the European Open. This is Scott Golden signing off for the night. We've got one more day of action. Mixed doubles tomorrow for the open divisions as well as the skill divisions. I'm going to wrap things up, and we're going to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. And we're going to do some interviews before we get out of here, and then we're going to call it a night. We'll be back after this. All right, guys, Scott Golden here for a wrap-up interview on the Men's Open Finals. My goodness, what a day you guys had. Bastian, you, you started out with uh, the team event, and then you played singles, and now you're in the Men's Open Finals at after 11 o'clock local time. How do you feel right now taking home the victory and the gold and, and the money? Well, you said it. If you win, it always feels good. But, um, I mean, used to be a runner, so I have a lot of energy. Um, I got to keep him healthy, and then the team is healthy. Absolutely. Felix, you are an absolute machine out there on the court. You've got a great partner in Bastion. You guys seem to work well together. What makes you guys so good together? What is it that makes you guys such a dynamite team? I think we've played since, since ever together. So our team chemistry is like pretty good. We know each other 
um, from the childhood, so it works perfectly out. Yeah, yeah. He's more the soft player, and I'm more. Yeah. So, so he tries to set you up yeah, for the yeah, the finish. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Let's talk real quick. Uh, the Spaniards. Have you guys played them before? Is this the first time? Uh, what, what's your experience with those guys? No, no, no. We have played them a couple of times uh, in Odense. I guess uh, second to last year, uh, we won in the finals two to one, and we played them in October when we were in Malaga um, at a friend's place. Uh, we played a tournament here against them in the finals as well. Um, I feel like we won 2-0 as well, but uh, it was always close. And we know they're aggressive, they're really good overheads, and you don't want to give them volleys. So we try to play it down on the court, soft on the backhand side, because they play lefty-righty. So there's always a backhand like, crowded in the middle or outside. And that's what we try to remind us. Like if you hear us saying Mitte or Außen, this is like what we say. And um, then we all know where the next ball goes. In game one, it felt like you were the steady rock, just dinking, setting up the, the, the partner of yours for the wins. But in the game two, I felt like you turned into a little bit of more of an offensive attacker. Did you feel that you had them in a good spot because you were up a game and up in the second game as, as well? Well, that doesn't matter to me because every point is different. But uh, I think that we realized in the first game we played a little bit too careful, like we think too much. We had some chances, but we didn't use them. But we said, well, we have own serve. we got to be a little more aggressive. So I told Felix, I'm going to push the dinks a little wider. He tried to put some wider a little bit. And then uh, you get a little more chances. You might lose points, but you also make uh, points on your own serve. And that worked out because I can flip it, attack it. If they leave it, good. If they touch it, Felix is all over the middle and hits it. So worked out well. Fantastic. All right, guys, congratulations. Go celebrate with your team and your family. Wow, Felix and Bastion taking home the men's open gold. What a day we've had, guys. This is Scott Golden. We're signing off for the night. We're going to have Knicks open tomorrow. We'll see you then. Perfect. Yes. Thanks. All right, guys, thanks so much. Great job, guys. Great job. Great job. Thank you. Fantastic. I hear the, I hear okay.